Hi friends, this is Rashid Rizvi from Master in Solutions. Today I'll teach you how to sort data in Excel monthwise. So how to sort monthwise in Excel. So I need to uh, show you this example through some data. Let's proceed for it. So my topic is how to sort Excel data monthwise. Just I click on Excel. I have some raw data as usual. In this raw data, I have some higher date column. If you see the G column is a higher date column. So I want to sort my entire data based on a higher date column here because I have higher date. But I want to sort as month wise. Here, if you see, if I go to G column and I go to data and say A to Z, it sorts uh, date wise and then month wise basically. I mean, first Jan of 77 come, then Feb of 77, then March, April, December, then Jan of 78 will come. But my my target is different. What we want, we want to sort here all Jan first, then all Feb, all March, doesn't matter which year, basically. So how to arrange my data in this way, month by sorting, uh, without uh, thinking the year. year. So for that, uh, we need to add some temporary column here for the time being. So I'll just go to the end of the last column after the last column and I can type any column heading, let's say month. And I will just, I want to extract month from G column. The formula to extract month from a date is equal to, equal to M-O-N-T-H month, equal to month, open bracket, and I click on this hard date column, I mean cell reference, enter. So this function extracts month from a date in number, one for Jan, two for Feb and so on. And I need to fill it down that you know how to fill, double click on fill handle. So now this this is a temporary column, extra columns I have added. And this is this has nothing but the month of the G column. And here month, month one stand for Jan, two for Feb and all. I need to sort my data based on this last column. No need to select the entire column, just be in the last column and say A to Z or Z to A. If you want first Jan, Feb, March, then say A to Z. So be in the last column and go to data tab and say A to Z or go to home tab. Also, we can sort data as you know. So either the way, you have to sort your data based on the last column, temporary column, which we have created just now. And since I am in that column, in my case, it is I column. And I column having not, uh, I column is having nothing but the month of the higher date. I mean G column. This I have extracted through month functions, as you know. And then I go to data tab and click A to Z. If you see your record, entire records are sorted as per the month for Jan, then Feb, then March, and April. Doesn't matter which year. Now your job is over. The last column job is over. This column not required now. If you want, you can remove this column. So you know well how to remove the column. Or rows select and control minus so you wanted to sort as per month it is done you see so you need to add one extra column for the time being if you ask to me uh, Rashid can we have uh, sort this without adding extra columns and uh, normally I will say no uh, because uh, see uh, now you cannot see whether I have added some column or not so that the role of this column was for the time being the role of this column was just for the time being once the roll is over, you can remove that column. Thank you very much for watching my videos. You can also watch my VBA videos, MS Word videos and all. Uh, you can recommend uh, to your colleagues and friends also. Uh, please write some comments so that I can uh, prepare videos accordingly for your purpose. Uh, thank you very much for watching my videos.